Hello everyone, I am Vibha Bakkam. Currently, I am pursuing the full stack development course in Audit Institute. During the training period, I have developed an e-commerce website clone, which is Ajio. Here is my project. I developed this whole project with the help of React.js. React.js is a framework of JavaScript. This is home page of my website. All content will be displayed here. I use API for fetching the data. With the help of use state hook, I create, uh, I fetch the API. So here is the footer. In this project, I create a login and registration pages for registering new, P, uh, new user. When user click on this section, it will redirect to the registration page. This is registration page. User need to fill all this input field for successfully registration. So let, uh, let's register new user. First of all, we, in the name input uh, field, we need to add a name of our user. So here I uh, add uh, the name of user, then email ID of user, and then uh, password of uh, account. One, two. So after the after filling the all input fields, uh, when user click on continue button, the registration message registration done message will be pop up and our all uh, uh, users data will be stored in our local storage, and user will be redirect to the login page. This is our login page. Here we need to fill email and password correctly for login for login. So here we now we going to login. In the uh, both section, if we uh, if we enter wrong information, then our system will be not allow us to access the home page. It uh, it uh, uh, it throw the pop up that email or password does not does not match. Please enter correct password. When we enter correct password, system will be allow us to access the home page. Here I create a multiple section of clothing like men, women, kids. So let's open men's section. Here is our main section uh, that all products will be shown here. And we can also buy product from here. First of all, we need to uh, add the, uh, that particular product which we want to buy. We need to add that product into cart. So here is the add to cart button for adding the product into cart. When we click on the add to cart button, the system will be uh, display the message that product is added to cart. So let's add multiple product. Here is our cart page. We add but, uh, many products into cart that products will be shown here. And if we want to buy that product, we need we just need to click on buy product button and our product will be buy successfully and it will system will be, uh, redirect us to the home page. Here I also create a add product section for sellers so that they can add their products into our website. When we when seller click on uh, add products page it will redirect seller to the add product page in this in this page seller need to add their products detail like product link then product product uh, name then product price when user uh, add a uh, submit product their product will be added on our website and it will show see see our product will see our users product will be added here